Okay, welcome back. It is raining, if you're wondering what the random sort of knocks and things are, but thanks again for joining. Um, this is Sky Wanderers. I'm going to take a quick look at my latest build. This download will be in the description. And um, this is the Peace Liner Mark 1. It's probably a ship which I've spent a lot of time on um, just in the last couple of days. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. And yeah, like I say, if you've got the closed alpha, you'll be able to download the ship and load it in and take a look at it for yourself. There's a lot of little details which I've put into this one. Um, the thing's got 10 working turrets. They all emit smoke every time they fire. They fire four lasers and a rocket each. Like I say, I think there's eight of them. They're all gimbaled with the uh, camera. So these are all little turrets here. Um, I just wanted to make some little sort of micro micro turrets i don't know you can make them much smaller than that by the way there's a smaller rotor um, i had a little go with this sort of reactive armor type design got a few tips from some other players with uh, starting to use these weird vents and pipes vents and pipes that's a new thing which is a lot of fun the um, pipe work and sort of grilling i've put through just wanted to get like a, a negative shell going on here over here we've got the gimbal camera which is linked into all the turrets so when you fly the ship you're not actually looking out of a windscreen you're looking out of this camera right here i did want to put uh, uh, an elevator in here but uh, there were some problems with the rails in the current build so that'll get fixed and i'll come in and fix all of that at the back we've got a dock which is designed to fit small ships and shuttles so i got my space bike in here Again, that'll be a separate download in the description. Um, again, this sort of reactive armor was a lot of fun. Kind of looks like acoustic uh, dampening as well. And it catches the light really nicely as well. You've got this backlit shell going on a little like a Fabergé egg. And then over here, we've got some more plates on the outside just to give it a little bit of contrast from the this white checkered angles. Up here, got the engines for the ship. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have two semicircles, and then once I'd done it, I couldn't decide whether to take out this beam. Um, I felt like taking the beam out was a little bit cheaty because then it's not actually attached to anything at this end, which is where they're coming from. But I just wanted to have um, the sort of X-wing type split wing design, which we've got. Um, but then I also had the, the U-wing type where it sort of swings forward as well. So I wanted to keep the beam so it didn't look too flimsy because a lot of people when they've seen the ship they didn't really know that these were engines, they thought they were just lights. So yeah, I probably should have made them a little bit bigger. But yeah, so each of these I think is 18 degrees, which gives you uh, in... in, in uh, I think it's 10, 10 sections of 18 degrees it gives you 180 something like that do a quick quick bit of math it was really easy to do like a lot of this stuff requires so much wiring and i'm just it's it's a joy to play a game that actually wants you to make stuff uh the nose up front is vulnerable to the, the, the projectiles from those turrets so it can rotate to uh, like a hammerhead 90 degrees which gets it out the way of the guns so let's go inside um, so yeah coming in the bottom we've got some doors you just push the button it'll open and let you in over on the left hand side we've got the master controls so the um, the engines will unfurl let's just show you that quickly so as you can see they're now straight so it's a little bit like that uh, ship from dead space um, show you what I mean by folding the wings in as well so now I've got the wings folded in it kind of changes the profile of the ship um, the rotation is a hotkey hotkey 4 when you're actually flying the ship there's no button for that uh, but that just sort of was an upshot of how I ended up designing it all I did the uh, rotation after I'd done most of the work so um, and then obviously you've got the struts so if we fold the wings back out you'll see that nice sort of x-wing 30 degrees 
Oh look, and the engines are still filled up. I thought that would be cool for warping. You have that kind of, you like unfill the engines and, but yeah, so we'll just fill those back in. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. So we'll rotate the nose in a minute. But anyway, if you hit this button here, access logic, it'll open all the panels up and then you can see how everything's done. So like this black section here is for the bottom left wing. There's another section up top. So they correspond to each wing. So that one, top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Okay, facing, facing forward is that way. So this section here is, I think that one's dealing with the engines. The way they rotate, the way they do 18 degrees. So obviously all of them have to be set for each wing. And then there's a button for that. And then we've got uh, the actual wing swinging forward here. And then we also have the, the struts as well. So it's, um, it's not that difficult to see where it all is. I haven't really hidden it. So you've got a rotor there for the swinging of the wings. And you've got another rotor in here for the split, so that they split open in the, in the X configuration. Got backlighting there, of course, so it's sort of nice and colourful. But yeah, um, we have the doors here, lower door controls. I've pretty much tried to make it so that you can kind of inspect the wiring. Um, but it's all covered up most of the time. Um, here what we've got is like a rudimentary airlock because I was annoyed that I didn't have the lift I wanted <laughs> But I'll put that in eventually. It'll probably go in a mark two or something um, And then here what we have is we have a ship status hologram So we covered that in the last tutorial how to set these up. So if I there's the ship if I were to fold the wings and the struts, whoops, you'll see it's reflected live in the hologram, which is pretty cool, okay? Um, so you could actually have this in your big bridge, you have a big hologram in front of you, or in your fighter next to the chair. It's, it's a really cool idea. So that's the ship state right there. And then over here, we've got our navigation. So it's quite a large map. We've got our hollow map there walking about the galaxy <coughs> so that's those two and then here we have <coughs> sorry over here we got like a backup flight console this one just controls the gimbal and the ship but not the turrets but it can control um, all the animations so you can see there I've got the flight controls down in the bottom so obviously I could fly the ship about but if I go F4 I can use, I can take a little look at this, so pressing 1 will fold the wings, 2 will un, will fold the wings again, <laughs> and then 3 unfurls the engines, and then 4 does the hammerhead at the front. Okay, so we'll leave it like that for now I think, or wait, <laughs> we'll leave it like that. But this doesn't control the turrets so you can go out of sync if you see how the turrets are all facing forward so if i leave it facing forward that's good calm that's good that's good luck that is <laughs> good juju all right and obviously if i want to inspect this i can open it up like that i mess around with a bunch of different coverings but um you can see how the hotkeys work there going into the groups and then there's the camera control for the gimbal and then over on the other side we have if I hit this button we can reveal the turret wiring so all the turret wiring is back here there's the controller for the left mouse button so you can click and shoot that's I think that's all the wiring for the turrets themselves this was put in as a controller before uh, uh, before I put in the actual the front so then we have a display 
and a joystick, either of which do the same. Um, so if I get in this one, now I'm in the uh, controls. You see I'm turning. I'm firing that way. I'm firing that way. But these things are cannibalistic, which is the reason that I made the nose rotate, because I actually blew up the nose by accident. So yeah, there's no, the systems haven't been put in yet, so at the moment you can just sort of spam fire or make even crazier systems. But if you see the backs of the turrets, they're actually smoking, which is, a, that was pretty fun being able to put that effect in with that vent block. Um, and if I press four, if you watch the uh, nose, you'll see it'll vent every time it transforms, which is using a callback gate on the rotor. So every time it finishes rota rotating, it just fires off all of these vents, which are uh, up there on the nose, which is again, and a nice little feature. You can really build that into a lot of things. Uh, right, so let's get out of this and check out the rest of the ship, because I did do a full interior on this one. Like I say, it's the first ship I've spent a lot of time on. Had a lot of fun doing all these pipes and vents. Thanks to Zach Zent for giving me the idea to mess about with these like um, I wanted to fill up the space you know and it was uh, a bit tricky so we've got a teleporter up here under strut controls so don't worry about that we've got some power which doesn't do anything yet but will eventually so yeah everything is subject to change uh, and I'll try to update this ship to keep it legit but you never know what might change so anyway Okay, so here we have it. The next room is the uh, cargo hold. So let's just close this door. They're all one button push. So we've got a bunch of cargo crates and a big loading bay. So if we just open that and it opens up with a little claw door and then we're under the ship. Pretty simple stuff. So that's just done with two hinges and, a, and one of these here. All the wiring is behind these panels. Okay, it's just a switch though, attached to a jewel, attached to both hinges. Nothing special going on. I had a lot of fun messing about with these walls and things. It was good times. So yeah, let's move on because it's pretty self-explanatory really. It's just a, a big open area. Um, I've tried to sort of, you know, use the piping to to sort of make it a little bit more interesting, but hey. Um, I had a lot of help from people on the Discord with this little bit here. My tables looked a little bit weird and they look a lot better with the fat pipes rather than the thin ones. Um, but yeah, I'd already sort of built these up. So, but it looks a little bit like a cafe. It doesn't really kind of fit with it being a space, space bunks or whatever. It's like a place for the crew to sleep or hypersleep or whatever I didn't think about putting some windows over it and things but I didn't want to get too complicated because I'd nearly finished the build anyway um, more vents thanks to Zach for the inspiration again for that um, it's funny sort of coming up with things to fill the ship with but anyway the the final room in the ship is the breach corridor so my idea was that the crew would be awoken and briefed and then you'd fly the hammerhead straight into something a, sh a station or a, a disabled ship or whatever we it's all speculation when it comes to breaching but there was always a lot of it um and then they're going to run up this corridor hit this button Oh wait, are we already open? Yeah, we're already open. So hit this button and it's going to open the door. And then we're right at the end of the nose, just a few blocks from the front of the ship. So they can flood out of there and be inside whatever very, very quickly. So yeah, that was the idea. I thought it'd be fun to make a little sort of boarding feature. Let's close that. So yeah, that's the piece liner. Um, it's up for download. If you've got the closed alpha, you, you'll have no trouble loading it in. I'm going to cover things like loading, deleting, renaming, and all that kind of stuff in a future tutorial, but most people already know how to make the basics work. So I'm just sort of putting it out there for people that haven't really been following the dev videos or have picked up on it later on. Um, and 
didn't necessarily because that's basically where i was i came in about four weeks after everybody else and um by that point there's already a lot of information going around so yeah here it is this is the piece liner um that pretty much conclude concludes the tour um i'm going to be putting it in the download description there and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time